Giant Bear Grills, and today I'm going to teach you how to survive in the wild. First step to surviving in the wild is finding a water source. We're so deep in the woods, I don't know if we'll be able to find one. But I'm there's a... I have to drink my own piss. But there's a bar right over there! No, it's not. We're in the wild. Are you sure? Yeah. Fuck. Natural concrete. Good lord. Oh, and... Oh! That's there's a wild one right there! Over there, we got the wild ward room. We might be able to go there and get some sustenance. But we gotta watch out. There's predators about. The wild officer. Dun dun dun. Lethal. So he's decided. We're gonna pass the ward room. It's a Sunday. We're not gonna risk it. We'll keep walking, see if we can find some food. Oh, follow me. Here we have a wild lizard. Caught him in the street. We can catch him. We can get the food. He's getting away. He's a tricky bugger. It's too difficult to catch. We'll try and find some more. So here we are. It's getting pretty late. Let me just check my phone to see what time it is. It's getting late. And I can't find civilization. We're gonna have to set up camp for the night. First step is setting up camp. We need to find a good location. Here you can see we're in the shade. It's a perfect spot. Got lots of wild grass we can lay our head on for the night. Watch out for these trees. They got spikes. They might hurt. This is a perfect spot. Now we're going to build our camp. What we want to be mindful of. We don't want to grab anything too sharp for us to sleep on tonight. But I think we'll be fine right here. Let's grab some grass so we have a pillow. Perfect. Another beautiful day. Some pretty good sleep during the night. My hotel's not too far from here. So it's the next day, and I'm thirsty, and I'm hungry, and I can't find civilization anywhere. I think this is a pretty dire situation. I can see if I can make it to the extraction point. But first, let's see if we can get some water. Let's grab our bag and let's go. And it hasn't rained in a few days, which means we're going to have to look for something like this moss. Moss can be a really good source of water. If you can find enough that's been in the shade, we can give it a shot. By squeezing moss, you can get the water out of it. We're not getting any water. I'm going to have to eat this dirt. That's the only thing with water in it. Very tasty. Maybe if we eat the grass, we can get some sustenance from the grass as well. Very tasty. Alright, board grills here. What's that? A wild car. Wow! Crikey! My god! wild cars everywhere around here. But I grabbed a stick. Sticks can be a really good source of nutrients. Especially when there's dead stuff on them. So we'll munch on this to keep us going till we can find our next food source. Alright. So I've eaten my stick. But we found some wild berries. These are really good. You can see here 
we got some pretty ripe ones. Now what you gotta look out for is that they're not green like this one. Cause that's not ripe and that's not good. We'll pick the good berries here. And see if they'll get us through the day. Gotta watch out for the spikes on these trees. They hurt. That one's not ripe enough, but it'll have to do. Alrighty, let's go. Alright, so here we are in the natural savannah parking lot. We can see two cars in the natural habitat. Two different breeds. We don't want to disturb them. They might get angry. They might be trying to mate. It's too hard to tell. They're looking at each other very intimately. Let's carry on. Don't want to get... So here we are at a four-way stop. This can be really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. See here you've got these lines. They're called crosswalks to get across so we don't injure ourselves. We gotta hit the button. It beeps. And now we can go. <laughs> Still going? Yeah. We're safe. It was closed up. There was a wild car and it could have hit us. But luckily he was friendly and he stopped. This is a beautiful spot now. So here we are in a bamboo forest. I don't know how we got here, but here we are. We've transited continents trying to find the extraction point. So this bamboo, if you're good, you can make a shelter out of it. <clears throat> but lucky for us, we don't need to. We already slept. And this is beautiful bamboo. I wouldn't want to hurt it. But there's bugs. And if we can catch the bugs, we can eat them for food, protein, Damn. Soon we have some deer in their natural habitat. Zoom in on that. Look at that, they're beautiful. Now, if I want to eat tonight, I gotta find a weapon. We have a weapon. Let's go get us some food. Let's go get a bus. I don't think this will take down that wild bus. Get us a stag. Alright. Boy Grill's here. And unfortunately the camera died just as we were about to kill the deer. And we got the deer. And now we're well fed. Now we'll continue on to the extraction point. Follow me, let's go. Bully me! Yeah, right, right. Alright, boy grills here. We're in front of the fire department. The home of the elusive fire truck. Now these things get really angry. Look, they have sirens on the top. And when they get angry, those flick on. And they stampede away. Now. They've closed the gates on their habitat, but if they didn't, we could go in and get some water from their tanks. It's very dangerous, but if it succeeds, we have an almost unlimited supply of water. If only those gates weren't closed. So here we are. We're at a place called a mini market. This place is here. Allow us to exchange currency for goods. We might be able to get some water and food in here. Let's have a look. So we made it out of the market. And we got some food. These items can be naturally found in the wild, if you know where to look. We got a Gatorade. We've got an energy drink. And we've got my favorite, naturally occurring, Hawkins Cheesies. Let's make our way back. 
see if we can find the escape point. Boy, grills here. We got ourselves some nice bros. Oh, these guys, they're really cute. I don't want to eat them, so I feed them. Surviving the wild is all about teamwork. You gotta help out where you can. These guys know all about teamwork. They're crows, they're smart. Now before we go, I got a really good idea. We can camouflage ourselves so we blend in a little better. This wall is perfect. Watch this. And now you can't see me. Boy grills here. And here we have a plum tree. We get some more food from this for the giant journey. Let's take the ripe ones. They're not all ripe. That's okay. Because they're still good. Awesome. This here, something left behind. It's a wild pinwheel. We can use this to recharge our batteries. It works. Boy grills here. And we've made it. Here we are at the extraction point. CFB Esquimalt. It's a wonderful spot. Stop being a douche. No, I'm recording a YouTube Boy Grills here, and we made it to the extraction point. CFB Esquimalt. Now here's a wonderful spot, because we got the food for free, we got the water for free, and we got accommodations for free. Go reserve us. So here we are. Thank you for watching. I'm Boy Grills, and I just taught you how to survive in the wild. I want my